What's up everyone, the video nerd here and welcome to the YouTube for Gamers playlist. Some YouTube videos keep you watching for much longer than you intended. An explanation could be that the subject is just super interesting but still with thousands of videos being published on the same subject only a few of them rank really well. So this is because of another reason and it's the way you bring your content and the script itself. And since gaming tutorials are mostly about the voiceover instead of your on camera presence, the script is hugely important. When writing a script for a gaming tutorial you need to make sure you keep the people interested. Showing good gameplay while you're talking definitely helps but you still need to write your script in a way that holds the people's attention all the way to the end. To do that we will be using a few techniques that keep people hooked and after that I'll show you a few things to add to your script to increase your channel's growth. The first thing you should be focusing on is having an intro that hooks people. You might think, there we go again, I've heard this a thousand times, but it is super important. I will give you an example of a good intro which you can then change and use for your own video. So let's say you're making a Katerina guide for beginners, then your intro should be something like this. Katerina is one of the most rewarding champions when mastered. Learning her as a beginner can be a challenge but after practicing these techniques you will be able to start carrying your games in no time. This sounds really simple and short but these two sentences have a lot of power and here's why. By saying Katerina is one of the most rewarding champions when mastered you're feeding their already existing excitement for learning Katerina. Then you mention as a beginner because that's in your title so people who watch your video will be beginners and they probably search for that exact keyword so they immediately feel that the video is exactly for them. You also address their doubts by saying it can be challenging and then you take them away by saying but after practicing these techniques you will be able to start carrying your games in no time. Having an intro like this will be more effective than saying hey guys it's the video nerd here, I have a new video and we will discuss this and this and this. Of course after hooking people you need to jump right into the content and don't make a 2 minute long intro with no content, instead tell people a little story about what you're going to learn and while also giving them some information already because stories help to get people invested in your content and then transition into the main part of your video. For example after hooking people and showing them your intro you can say this. Hello everyone the video nerd here when I started playing league which was 4 years ago I played whatever I felt like at the moment but that didn't bring me much further. One year ago I decided to pick up Katarina and I haven't played anything else since then. The endless possibilities you have with the champ make it impossible to get bored of her. However it all starts with just 3 main combos which you need to practice. Once you know those you will be able to improve on your own. The first one and from there on you start with your main content. And this next advice might be the most important one in this video and it's just to spend a lot of time on your script. Take a look at gaming videos from YouTube channels like Pro Guides, Game League, Skillcapped etc. They're all videos with gaming footage plus a scripted voiceover and that's what works for gaming videos. When spending so much time on your script you ensure that it's better than that of your competition and that is what will keep people watching. Now I can understand that some of you don't even know how to spend a long time on a script because you would just like to talk about Katerina live while recording. So let me explain you the 7 steps you need to follow to make a good script. Step 1 is writing everything you want to say in the video down in points in a document. Then step 2 is watch at least 4 of the highest ranking guides on your subject on YouTube. Then step 3 is that if you hear something in the guides that you're watching that you didn't write down yourself then you just added information to the document you already made. Step 4 is reordering all the information in your document in a logical way that will make it easy to follow for your viewers. Step 5 is rewriting your points to full sentences and make it into one fluent explanation. Then step 6 is to read through your text and change everything that doesn't sound right and reorder the information again so that it becomes one fluent, easy to understand, easy to consume text. And the seventh step is what I'm going to explain right now. Having a perfectly made script after following these steps is a big part of the work but you still need to do some things to keep people's attention because they really want to click on the next video next to yours. 
So the way to do this is by adding little sentences to your video that give people the feeling they can't leave now. Something like this. One of the most important things you need to learn to master Katerina is catching her swords. There's a specific exercise I use to learn that, but before explaining that you need to understand when to use your swords. Every time an enemy comes at you, blah 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 blah. And then you just keep explaining this when to use swords tip first. This way they will stick around till after your tip because you said you would learn them a great technique afterwards. There are a lot of ways to do things like this and you should craft your own depending on the kind of video you're making. Then after your main content you need to have a good way to end your video and this is more important than you would think. First of all never use stop phrases. These are things like so that was it for this video or there you have the last technique or thanks for watching. You get it. When you say things like that people are already searching for the next video to watch. And that's not what you want because you want to send them to other content on your channel. Instead of using those stop phrases you should transition from your main content to your outro. Sending people to another video on your channel is more important than asking them to subscribe because watch time is king nowadays so you need to generate as much watch time as you can because then your videos will start to rank better, get shown to more people and eventually the subscribers will come. So at the end of your video don't beg people to subscribe, instead just end your video and say well now the next thing for you is to go to that playlist because there you can learn this or that. Or if you have a video that's just perfect to watch after your current video then you can also point them to one video but in general the best thing is to send people to a playlist because in general playlists are generating more watch time than one video. Now because you're not ending your videos with asking people to subscribe, you need to remind people to subscribe in another way. I do this by adding a subscribe pop up every few minutes which you probably have already seen and people can ignore it, it's not disturbing and those who would like to subscribe but just didn't think about it, they now get reminded and they will click the subscribe button. Now that you know how to write your script it's time to learn how to convert your script in a well edited video and that's exactly what I'm teaching in this next video so go ahead, click on it and I'll see you there.